Welcome to the Crafty Corner. Today we're going to be learning a bit about embossing. This isn't paper embossing like you'd see on a fancy invitation or envelope. Today we're going to be using some tin foil and some sharpies to make some neat embossing art. Go ahead and pause to find out exactly what you'll need. Okay, let's head over to the crafty corner. Okay, this is going to be a lot of fun. Today, we are going to be embossing with tin foil. So to start with, we're going to need a plain blank sheet of white copy paper. Just any old sheet of white paper will do. We're going to draw a quick sketch and then we'll get into the fun part. So for today's picture, I am going to be making a cute little seahorse. When I'm drawing, I'm going to be thinking about keeping my lines fairly big and bold. Now, to do this, you could definitely print off a line art picture from the internet and use that as your template. I just felt like doing a seahorse today, so I'm drawing my own. Okay, so there's our seahorse. Now we're going to add a couple of bubbles. And we'll add the ocean floor in. I think I'll put a starfish over here. That looks good. Next, we'll add in a little bit of seaweed. Okay, and now I'm just going to add in some wavy lines for the ocean. Okay, now I'm going to quickly outline this in black sharpie. Let's put this on fast forward. Okay, now that we have the outline, now comes the interesting part. We are going to take some string and we are going to outline our entire picture with it. So, taking some of my string, I'm going to cut off a chunk. Now, I'm going to grab some glue, and I'm going to start by running a line of glue around one of my shapes. I'm going to start over here. I'm just going to lay a single line of glue. I'm just tracing the outside of the star. Okay, good. Now I'm going to take my string and I'm going to gently follow the glue path and put my string down. I'm actually going to use a pencil to help me do this so I don't get too sticky. Okay. 
and I'm just gently tapping the string down onto the glue. The string is going to create a relief pattern when we add the foil over the top of our picture. This is going to be a three-dimensional piece of art, meaning it's going to have texture. It's not just going to be flat. Okay, that's looking good. I'm almost all the way around the starfish. And that is the end of the starfish. So I will just take my scissors and I will cut off the extra string at the edge. And now we're going to repeat that and cover the entire picture in the orange string. If you have yarn, yarn will work too, but string that is fairly wide or twine will work equally as well. Let's go ahead and put this on fast forward. Okay, now that we have all of our string glued to our paper, it's time for the next part. We're going to take a scrap piece of cardboard and we're going to stick some glue on it. I'm just going to grab some of my basic Elmer's glue and I'm going to drizzle that over my cardboard. We're going to take our paper with all of the string on it and glue it to the board. Okay, now that my glue is down, I'm going to take a foam brush. You could use a paintbrush or you could just use your fingers. The choice is totally yours. I'm just using a foam brush because it makes this job a lot easier and not quite so messy. Okay, now that our glue is down, we are going to take our string art picture and put it over the top of the cardboard. And we're going to gently line it up and press it down on the cardboard. Good, then we'll just gently press that down. Okay, that looks good. So we're just going to set this aside and do the next step in our project. So next I have cut a piece of tin foil that is about the same size as our cardboard. We want it to be a bit bigger because we're going to be tucking the edges under our board. So to start with, we are going to take our tin foil and we are going to crumple it up. Okay, so I'm not really compacting that ball of tin foil. Now we're going to gently unravel it. Good. And I'm going to gently flatten it out again. Okay. Now let's bring our board back. Next, we are going to put a thin layer of glue over the top of our board. So I have got some more liquidy glue and I'm just going to spread a bit of this onto here. All right, perfect. Then I'm going to take my foam brush and I'm going to gently spread this out over the string. And we're going to gently dab with the paintbrush so that we don't accidentally lift the string off of our paper. And while I'm thinking about it, I'm also going to put down 
some wax paper so I don't get too much glue onto my work surface. If you don't have wax paper on hand, newspaper or scrap paper will work just as well. I personally like wax paper the best because even if it gets stuck to my project, it will peel right off without any fuss. Let's continue to spread out this glue. Okay, that looks pretty good. Next, we are going to grab our tin foil and we're going to gently set that over the top of our page. Now, this part's going to take a while. I need to gently go in and rub the tin foil down so that we can see all those little spaces where the string is. I'm just going to take my thumbnail and gently rub across the tin foil and we should start to see the areas where the string is hidden. Now this part's going to take a while so let's go ahead and put this on fast forward. Now that we have rubbed the tin foil down, we can see the lines where our string is underneath. Now we're going to take some Sharpies and we're going to start to color in those areas that are indented. And that's going to give us our enamel look. So I'm going to do part of the tail over here and then we'll put it on fast forward to see how it turns out. So following the lines of the string, I am coloring in the sections in between. Now I'm going to be pretty careful and try not to go over the lines that the string makes because those silver areas are going to give us that enameled effect that we're after. And the nice thing about the Sharpies is even after I've done one layer of color, I can go back in with a different color and add some more detail to my picture. So for example, here I've done a section entirely in yellow. Now I'm going to come back and I'm going to add in some more using an orange marker this time. Okay, let's put this on fast forward and see what happens. Today we learned a bit about embossing. We embossed using tin foil and sharpies and the results are pretty neat. This is our finished picture. We've got a very cool seahorse with a faux enamel effect. And the embossing, you can see all of those wonderful ridges under the tin foil. Well, don't forget, you can try this at home too. You can print out your own line art picture and follow that with your string, or you can draw your own original artwork. Either way, have fun, and until next time, happy crafting.